thing. I, I do think that they'll have to deal with some showers and thunderstorms again on Saturday. So we'll have to watch the forecast for that lunch very closely. By the time we get to the weekend here, though, our weather is going to be fantastic. Only two more days of wet weather to get through before you can see a less humid and dry weekend on tap. Some strong storms are possible during the afternoon, but a front is coming in on Friday. It is going to change our weather pattern, going to send that less humid, uh, humid weather our way and make for a wonderful Saturday and Sunday. This morning it is muggy and mild to start 62 looking live in Franklin 66. Our temperature up in the Hopkinsville area and a quick live view in Gallatin. We're at 63 to start off there today. 64 here in Nashville in the borough this morning. 62 Camden checking in at 65 upper 50s across the Cumberland Plateau. Not a whole lot of rain to talk about. Just a couple of light showers there popping up from Hopkinsville down to Paris, Camden and Dixon. This is just going to be a couple of drops on the windshield. Now our ground is pretty saturated though. We did get a couple of inches of rain noted on radar from Lafayette down to Cookville and McMinnville. It was just such a soggy day yesterday. Now it was blinding at times when you were driving during the afternoon Wednesday. I don't think we'll have to deal with that heading into work. Just a couple of showers noted as we make our way in with the temperatures in the upper 60s. Heading home from work today. We could see a few more of those heavy downpours and a couple of those storms could be strong as well. Exact track keeps us mainly dry for the drive into work and we stay relatively dry up until lunchtime. Heat of the day, same story that we've been singing over the last few days. Scattered storms start to develop and yeah, embedded within some of these storms, we could see some damaging wind, potentially some hail as well. Now, our severe weather threat today is pretty minimal. The Storm Prediction Center only keeps us an level one on their scale of one to five. He noticed in further parts of our area, Wayne Lawrence County, very far tip for you right around the Tennessee Alabama state line is under a little bit of a higher risk. That's a level two out of five 80 degrees for this afternoon. Humid with those scattered storms overnight tonight. We're back into the sixties and then tomorrow is that last day of scattered showers and storms. We're in the upper seventies Friday. We're going to stay in those seventies through the weekend, but again, humidity will be down and we will finally get a dry weekend with nothing but sunshine. The good news here that dry weather continues all the way through midweek next week.